Hi, kids. Today we'll learn the story of Ellie Elephant. Let's go. Trump, Trump, Trump. Went Ellie Elephant's footsteps. Ellie Elephant was going to play outside. Ezra Elephant followed Ellie Elephant outside. Ezra Elephant was Ellie Elephant's little brother. Ellie Elephant climbed onto a big swing that hung on the elm tree. Whoosh, whoosh! Ellie Elephant was going higher and higher. She could see Ezra Elephant playing in the sandbox. Ellie Elephant could see Mommy Elephant sitting at the back porch. Ellie Elephant closed her eyes tightly. Zoom! Zoom! cried Ellie Elephant. Ellie Elephant was pretending that she was a big red airplane. Ellie Elephant was pretending that she was flying through fluffy white clouds. Then Ellie Elephant let the swing go slower and slower until it had stopped. I am a big red airplane coming for a landing, squealed Ellie Elephant as she jumped off the swing. Oh, Ellie Elephant, exclaimed Ezra Elephant. I want to fly too. I want to fly on a real airplane. We are going on a family vacation soon, said Ellie Elephant. Perhaps we will go on an airplane to someplace special. Daddy Elephant will tell us all about our vacation tonight. Then, Ellie Elephant, Ezra Elephant, called Mommy Elephant. It is time to get ready for supper. Please come and wash your hands and faces. Wash the ends of your trunks too. Ellie Elephant and Ezra Elephant hurried to wash their hands and faces and the ends of their trunks. It was almost time for supper. Ooh, it's Daddy Elephant! Daddy Elephant is home! squealed Ellie Elephant. Ellie Elephant and Ezra Elephant ran to give Daddy Elephant some hugs and kisses. Mommy Elephant gave Daddy Elephant a great big hug. Everyone got Elephant hugs and kisses. Aha! Uh -huh, exclaimed Daddy Elephant with a smile. Looks like we'll be having an egg salad supper. Let us all pray and eat. Finally, supper was over. The dishes were all washed. Ellie Elephant could not wait any longer. Oh, Daddy, said Ellie Elephant. Please tell us about our family vacation. So Ellie Elephant and Ezra Elephant tried very, very hard not to wiggle in their chairs because they were so excited. Daddy Elephant had promised to tell Ellie and Ezra all about the family vacation they would soon take. So Ellie and Ezra waited to hear the news. The family was not going to travel in a car, a boat, or even a train. We are going to have a very special trip, said Daddy Elephant. We are going to go on an airplane for our vacation. Yay! Yay! cried Ellie Elephant and Ezra Elephant. We are going to a very special place too, continued Daddy. We are going to Eskimo Land. Eskimo Land has lots and lots of snow. So Ellie Elephant was so excited, she waved her trunk up and down, up and down. <laughs> Ezra Elephant wiggled and flopped his ears. Mommy Elephant, said Daddy Elephant, I would like you to take Ellie Elephant and Ezra Elephant to the library tomorrow. Please check out a few books about Eskimo Land. Oh, that's a good idea, cried Mommy Elephant. We will go to the Elephant Library. So the next morning, Ellie and Ezra ate breakfast and brushed their teeth. The elephants combed their hair and cleaned their nose. 
Ellie and Ezra were ready to go. Drum, drum, drum. The elephants walked down the road to Elephant Library. Ellie Elephant was holding tightly to Mommy Elephant's tail. Ezra Elephant was holding tightly to Ellie Elephant's tail. The elephants obeyed Mommy Elephant. They listened to Mommy Elephant carefully when crossing the street. Mommy Elephant opened the door for Ellie and Ezra Elephant. We must obey the rules of the library, whispered Mommy Elephant. We must be quiet. Ellie Elephant and Ezra Elephant nodded their heads. Ellie and Ezra Elephant sat at a small table. It was made for little elephants. Mommy Elephant picked out picture books for Ellie and Ezra. The picture books had many pretty pictures. The two books had pictures of snow. They were books about Eskimo land. Ellie Elephant and Ezra Elephant turned the pages of the books very, very carefully. They didn't want the pages to tear. Ellie and Ezra Elephant remembered exactly what Mommy Elephant had said about being quiet. Shh! They did not make any noise. Ellie and Ezra Elephant did not disturb the other elephants who were also reading. Mommy Elephant whispered, We are ready to go. Mommy Elephant was carrying three big books about Eskimo land. The books were for Daddy Elephant. Hmm, let us take the long way home, said Mommy Elephant as they walked outside. You both are full of energy. I think we should walk through Evergreen Park. So Ellie and Ezra walked through Evergreen Park with Mommy Elephant. A small stream flowed through the park. There was even a little wooden bridge over the stream. Clump, clump. Ellie Elephant and Ezra Elephant walked over the wooden bridge. They all held tightly to Mama Elephant's tail. They loved Evergreen Park. Ellie Elephant tugged on Mommy Elephant's tail. May I run over to that purple bench? Asked Ellie Elephant. Um, me too, asked Ezra Elephant. Mommy Elephant laughed. <laughs> that is a good idea, said Mommy Elephant. I will watch you all the way from here. Oh, thank you, Mommy, said Ellie and Ezra Elephant. When Mommy Elephant got to the purple park bench, Ezra Elephant was skipping and hopping all around. Ellie Elephant was sitting on the purple bench. Ellie Elephant was tying her shoe. Ellie Elephant was so happy she could tie her shoe all by herself. Then Ellie Elephant stood up. Ellie Elephant was ready to go. Mommy Elephant looked at Ellie Elephant and said, Oh no! Ezra Elephant ran to Ellie Elephant and looked. Mommy Elephant and Ezra Elephant looked at Ellie Elephant. They were so surprised at what they saw. Oh my! exclaimed Mommy Elephant. Ellie Elephant, you have purple stripes. The bench was wet with purple paint. Ellie Elephant's eyes grew big and round. Then Ellie Elephant laughed. <laughs> Mommy Elephant and Ezra Elephant laughed too. <laughs> I guess I look like a purple and gray zebra, said Ellie Elephant laughing. We must hurry home before the purple paint dries, said Mommy Elephant. So that night at supper, Ellie told Daddy Elephant about her purple stripes. Daddy Elephant laughed together with Ellie Elephant. <laughs> I like my little elephant, said Daddy Elephant, even if she has purple stripes. After supper, Daddy Elephant got out all the library books. He looked at the pretty pictures and read all the big words too. Suddenly, Daddy Elephant said, We 
are going to Eskimo land in the morning. Ellie Elephant and Ezra Elephant were so excited. We will be flying on the Elephant Airlines, said Daddy Elephant. I guess we will be in Eskimo land tomorrow afternoon. That night, Ellie and Ezra went to bed early. They needed a good night's rest before the long flight. Soon, Daddy, Mommy, Ezra, and Ellie were all dressed. They hurried to the airport and got on the Elephant Airlines. Zoom! The airplane flew out of the runway. The airplane flew up into the air. Ellie and Ezra looked out the airplane windows. Ellie and Ezra could see fluffy white clouds. The Elephant Airlines flew high above the fluffy white clouds. Ezra Elephant, look! exclaimed Ellie as the clouds begin to disappear. Do you see what I see? It looks like more clouds, but it's not. I think it's... Snow! Snow? squealed Ezra Elephant. Look at the snow! Soon we will be able to play in the snow, said Ellie Elephant excitedly. That will be fun, exclaimed Ezra Elephant. We had better put on our extra warm clothes, encouraged Mommy Elephant. It is very cold outside. The Elephant family buttoned all their sweaters, snapped the snap on their coats, and zipped up all their zippers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ellie Elephant counted the steps as the Elephant family walked down the airplane stairs to the ground. Brrr, it's so cold! The Elephant family was indeed in Eskimo land. The Elephant family started walking away from the airplane. Whoops! Ellie Elephant started sliding. Whoa! Whoa! Ellie Elephant was sliding on a big puddle that was as hard as ice. The big puddle was frozen. Ellie Elephant was sliding on the ice. Eee! Whoa! Ah! said Ellie Elephant as she went round and round. I can't stop! Up went Ellie Elephant's right leg and down went Ellie Elephant's left leg. Ellie Elephant fell on the ground. Ellie Elephant was still spinning round and round. Poor Ellie Elephant. Will she ever stop spinning? Oh my! said Ellie Elephant as she began to rub her trunk. A trunk is an elephant's nose. Am I all right? Daddy Elephant picked up Ellie Elephant and took her to the Eagles Hotel. There, Mommy Elephant searched for bumps and bruises. I have good news, said Mommy Elephant. You are not badly hurt. You just bumped your trunk. Mommy Elephant wrapped a white bandage around Ellie Elephant's trunk. Daddy Elephant gave Ellie Elephant a big hug. Ellie Elephant felt much better. Thank you, Mommy Elephant. Thank you, Daddy Elephant, said Ellie Elephant as she jumped off the bed. Ellie Elephant ran to the window. Hmm, the sun was still shining. Snow was everywhere. Please, Daddy Elephant, said Ellie Elephant. Please, may Ezra Elephant and I play in the snow? Hmm. Let's all go outside, said Daddy Elephant as he put on his coat. Ellie Elephant and Ezra Elephant quickly buttoned their coats. Ellie helped Ezra Elephant with the big buttons. Then Ellie and Ezra Elephant zipped up 
all their zippers. We're ready, we're ready, cried Ezra and Ellie Elephant as they ran through the door. We're ready to play in the snow. Soon, Daddy Elephant, Mommy Elephant, Ellie Elephant, and Ezra Elephant were having a great time. They were playing snowball games. Whoosh, whoosh. Soft snowballs were wheezing back and forth, up and down and all around. Thank you, Daddy Elephant and Mommy Elephant, sang Ezra Elephant and Ellie Elephant together. Daddy Elephant and Mommy Elephant smiled. Hmm. Then Daddy Elephant began to pile snow together. Let's make a big snow elephant, said Daddy Elephant. Our fun time has just started. And there you have it, kids, the story of Ellie Elephant. Are you now ready to answer these comprehension questions? Let's go.